you know, learn to... Something's happening. Uh, My hairline's horrible. (laughs) Dude, mine too. I have a 40-year-old hairline with a (laughs) 12-year-old face. That's why I grow the uh, facial hair. But, uh, you know, I I just think that people... um, They run too much to a quick solution for a problem that's going to last them a lifetime if they don't fix it Mm -hmm. over a course of time. You know, like, you know, if you get divorced or your girlfriend, boyfriend breaks up with you, um, someone dies, but a lot of people run to drugs. They run to, you know, alcohol, marijuana, whatever. Uh, Marijuana, I don't really care about. I mean, if it becomes legal or it doesn't, I don't care. It doesn't affect me. I don't do it, and I wouldn't do it. So I wouldn't smoke it. I don't care. I really don't care. But if you're... But if I have a business and you smoke weed, I should have the right not to hire you for for that reason. Mm-hmm. I should have the right to, you know, if it becomes legal and I don't want to hire, you know, a, a stoner, that's my right. You know, screw off. You know, I don't want to hire you. You're going to come to work high all the time. I don't want to hire you. Who cares? I don't I don't care about you. You know, there's a lot um, of people that are allergic to the smell. Yeah. I mean, someone I... My buddy's, my buddy's girlfriend, she's allergic to cigarette smoke and weed smoke. Mm-hmm. She has big problems with that. So he's not going to smoke in front of her. He smokes cigarettes. He's not going to smoke in front of her. He's not going to smoke weed in front of her. He doesn't do that, I don't think. Um, so it, it's just that simple. It's the fact that there's other... Again, like you said, there's other people in the world than just, you know, the user. And I think the way we should go about it is my solution to the drug war is this... Um, economically, I don't know how this works out, but Shoot I think your local heroin dealer. No, well, Make I think you lead. should arrest them, put them in prison immediately. I think if you're a dealer, you deserve to go to prison because you're worthless. You're a piece of garbage. Um, but if you're a user, um, there's actually a help line that you should have. Um, you get a choice. You get caught. You get arrested. You get a choice. Either you're going to go to rehab or you go to prison. You have a choice. I mean, that's your choice right there. Either you get better or you choose the drug. And you could possibly die in prison. To me, that's the best solution. I mean, there shouldn't be, oh, legalize it. That way the crime rate goes down. Well, there's still a crime being uh, committed. It's just okay. It's not okay morally just because it's okay whether legally. It's, whether you know? it's legal or not and people are hooked on it, they will do anything yeah. in their power to get the money for it. I mean, look at the guy in Florida. If we made bath salts hmm. legal, there's going to be a bunch of people running around trying to eat each other's faces. I mean, I'm sure Alex Jones would have a field day with that one if that happened. Oh, my goodness. Mm-hmm. Remember, remember about the, the, the gay bomb in, uh, uh, what was it, in, I, I forget what war it was, or in Syria, or they're doing it to our troops, or something's going on. And Alex Jones, they're turning the friggin' rocks gay, and that was kind of thing. A of it, it's just like, yeah, it, he's, <laughs> Alex Jones is literally, like, his, his, I hate saying this, but I agree and disagree a lot with him, mm-hmm. but... The way he got his mechanisms, the way he talks, his language, it's so great. It's fantastic. And for someone like Ben Shapiro to say, especially with Milo Yiannopoulos, Mm -hmm. for Ben Shapiro to say Milo is worthless, you know, calling someone a certain C word um, that's not about women. It's not that one. It's a different one. I don't know if I can say, I don't think I can say that on radio. Um, But loophole. It's not on the chart. Yeah, loophole. (laughs) Um, But. I just, the way you express yourself politically is your choice, right? You can do it, okay? Milo has pretty much the same views as Ben, just in a different way, Um, the different way he goes about it. You know, they basically send the same message Mm -hmm. in two different ways. And I think they should come together. They should not be separated because they don't like each other personally. I mean, Milo tried to reach out to him, and, you know, one of his speeches got had a riot in front of it. And, uh, you know, Milo was going to have free speech week and he said, Ben, I got a spotlight open, you know, come speak at it. Let's put our differences aside. He said that to him and Ben Shapiro just completely disregarded him, uh, which I thought was terrible in Ben's on on Ben's behalf. I thought that was horrible. Um, you know, but to me, the war on drugs is more than just arresting the users. The users are not the problem. It's the dealers. You know, the users, I like, the only thing I have against users is I've never seen someone do heroin. I've never seen someone do meth. I've never seen someone do cocaine. Actually, I think I have. I, I've never seen anyone do certain 
other drugs. I think cocaine's the only one I've seen someone do. But, and marijuana, I've been around that. I, I've seen people smoke. But to me, there's a lot more, there's an underlying lining thing when it comes to drugs. You know, there's something that people aren't getting out of life that they feel that they need to do like heroin. There's something there that's missing that they believe is missing. And it's how to fill that void. Um, so one of my buddies was talking to me about this and I kind of agree with him, you know, why people choose to go to that route. Um, and it's sad, you know, my, uh, my second cousin, I think he, you know, overdosed and mm -hmm. died this past summer. Oh, wow. And, uh, and a couple of years before that, someone else died, a similar, a drug overdose mm -hmm. in my family, one of my cousins. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's crazy to think about. It happens every day. If you personally don't know yeah. anybody on drugs, you know somebody who is affected by it. Yeah. Whether it's yeah. somebody else's, you know, relative, parent, yeah. child. And, and people need to stop telling people that they're dumb if they don't do it, if they don't do some sort of drug. If you're the kind of person that gets peer pressured easily into doing things, okay, someone's trying to bully their way into your life so you can hurt yourself. That's awful. That's terrible. It's like that one girl that was caught sending text messages. She was joking to her boyfriend. But she said, you know, yeah, you should, you know, off yourself. And he did. Some people struggle with things like this. She got, what, 30 years? Yeah. Something close to that? Something close mm -hmm. to that. And she's 18, 17, 18. Young. I mean, she's really young. Mm -hmm. But she convinced her boyfriend to do something horrible. Because she told she was joking. All, right, all these things, if you... If you try to scare someone into doing something that's going to hurt you, you deserve to be put in prison. Mm -hmm. Okay? Or you deserve the death penalty. I, it, it's, it's ridiculous. I mean, you are literally a piece of human garbage, a piece of trash f for that. I mean, personally, that's what I believe. Um, you know, you should never force someone against their will to do a drug, ever. It's ridiculous. And if you don't, and if you don't do drugs, and you say no, and people call you out for not doing it, watch in ten years where they're living. Mm -hmm. Watch how many divorces they have they have had. Watch how many breakups they've had, or if they're not already dead. And that's your victory right there that you've defeated that norm. You know, I know I'm talking very evil about this, but I, I'm very passionate when it comes to this kind of thing. You know, there's a time for fun. But fun can become stupidity really quick. Mm -hmm. There's a fine line between fun and lives being at risk. Reality. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to adulthood. The sad. The sad truths of reality. Mm -hmm. Well, do you have anything else you want to talk about? Mm -mm. Well, I think we're done for today then. Because, right. yeah, we wanted to end a little early today. So thank you for watching the Adorable Deplorables here on Lakeland's Lake Effect Radio. Tune in next Thursday, same time, 1 o'clock. For Josh, or for, wow, I was going to say it was you and you were me. Um, we identify as each other, Josh. Uh, my name is Matt Bossman. And I'm with, Josh Walker. And uh, basically, I'm Milo Yiannopoulos. He's Ben Shapiro. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll be back next week. Thank you guys for tuning in.